Good afternoon and welcome to Paul T's World. Now in this episode we're going to have a look at topiary. Is it topiary? Let's see what you think. It's the laurel. Now do you remember in the previous video uh, where I did a tour of the front garden and I had the laurel there, this self-seeded laurel. It's just in the background here. The sun's just coming out beautifully. And I said in the video that I didn't know whether I wanted to keep it or not. Uh, as it is self-seeded, one of the subscribers to this channel, Pat, suggested I lift its skirts. And I thought, ooh, that sounds interesting. Let's give it a go. And that's what this video is all about. And your job is to tell me whether it's worked or it's not worked. And towards the end of the video, I'll be showing you exactly how I clear up and get rid of all the garden waste. I'm going to play an excerpt now of that video. This laurel that's uh, self-seeded basically, I've left it there, but I think I might either take it out or cut it back by half. I like some evergreen structure in the garden, particularly a front garden. Just give it a little trim first. I am making sure I don't cut the leaves in half. That is why I'm using secateurs and not my usual large hedge trimmer. I'm just pruning roughly now so I can see what I'm doing. I will prune them close to the trunk when there's room. Now I'm going to trim close to the main trunk. I don't want to leave short branches as that will encourage regrowth and I don't want new leaves growing at the base. I am pruning close to the trunk but not flush with the trunk. It is better to prune at the collar, just slightly off from the trunk. It is starting to take shape. Should I leave only one main trunk or all three of these? I can always make it a smaller lollipop later by pruning the two side branches. I'll see how it goes.
balancing on the head, on just balancing on the wall here. Oh, open up, fall off. Whoa. My sense of balance isn't what it used to be. <laughs> For some reason. Just trying to cut carefully so that I don't actually cut any leaves in half. Because it won't look good and it might then die at half the leaf. What do we think? I think that looks pretty good actually. I'm oh, quite pleased with that. The rhododendron on the right hand side as we're looking at it towards the house, the pyrus on the left hand side and then the azalea which is underneath it, they'll all be able to grow and fill up the gap. I think that could be good. Yeah, I'm pleased. Excellent suggestion, thank you. So what I'm doing now is I'm taking the, the bits that have the width that I want. Nothing too thick, that's a little bit thick. That's just a little bit too thick, so those, that will go in the brown bin. The brown bin is our recycle bin for garden waste. Normally I wear gloves, but the reason I'm not wearing gloves right now is because I'm fiddling with the camera all the time and it's not so good with gloves. But generally when I'm gardening, I prefer to wear gloves. Now, actually, I shouldn't put the secateurs in there because what I do is I tip all this into a bin or the compost bin and lose the secateurs. So I think I'll just leave them out for the moment.
There we are, all finished. So all, all that that was piled up here has now been reduced into that. And that's it. So now we'll just put this on the compost bin. Spread it out a little bit. Now I did say that uh, these don't do well in the leaf mold. However, I'm quite happy to put evergreen leaves, waxy leaves on the compost. This will heat up and it'll be absolutely fine. So that's how I get rid of the waste. And that's how I do topiary, my first topiary. Can it be called topiary? Well, I hope you found that interesting. Let me know what you think. Should I get rid of the laurel? Was that a really good idea to Lifted skirts up apparently is what you say. Uh, I think it looks good. I'm pleased with that. What's there to lose? If it doesn't work, I'll take it out. But I think it might work. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time in Pulte's world. Bye.